Every day, Golf Cart Garage gets questions just like this one. Clark wrote in to ask, Hey Dave, I want to install a new light bar for off-roading, but I want to know how hard they are to install and if I need to use a voltage reducer. So it's time for Ask Dave, right now, on GCG TV. Hey, welcome back to the Golf Cart Garage, and thanks for joining us, as today on GCG TV, we'll take a quick look at installing a universal LED utility light bar and a voltage reducer on this 2015 Club Car Precedent. For a look at how this golf cart went from course cruiser to custom outdoors buggy, check out our video right here. But on today's episode, we'll cover the light bar wiring and explain the voltage reducer to help cover the frequent questions we get on both items from customers on the phone and email. We've already got a deluxe street legal light kit installed here with turn signals on the headlight and on the side mirrors. Great for trips around the neighborhood. But if you need extra light for hunting or outdoor activities, or if your cart stays off the road and you just want a very simple light bar solution instead of a light kit, this is the way to go. This light bar is heavy duty and durable and will add about three pounds to the cart, yet somehow still makes it lighter. Okay, the jokes aren't getting any brighter, but it's powerful is what we're getting at. <laughs> we also carry a 54 watt, 4000 lumen light bar if you're not going this extreme. But today we're installing the more powerful 120 watt, 7800 lumen light bar from ROX for this outdoor sportsman cart. We started by deciding where to install the fixture. We see a lot of these bolted to rooftops on golf carts, but we decided to bolt it up to the front cargo basket instead for a great adjustable angle as far forward on the vehicle as possible. This also made running the wiring easier by using less length. Next for the safety check, we remove the keys, set the parking brake, and switch the cart from run to tow mode. When it comes to the question on whether to use a voltage reducer, the truth is, it's not always totally necessary, but we usually do recommend it. If your cart has 6 volt or 12 volt batteries, you can definitely safely install 12 volt accessories like this light bar by using two of your 6 volts or 112 to wire the leads up directly. If you have 8 volt batteries, you'll always want a voltage reducer as mathematically there's no sum of 12 volts, which almost all accessories use. That said, if you use your cart for long periods, or just want to put less strain on your batteries overall, the voltage reducer is the way to go with electrical accessory installations. This uses power from the entire battery series all at once, instead of just draining one or two of them, and it reduces that total voltage down to 12 to properly power your light. The more your golf cart gets used, the more highly we recommend this more energy efficient method. We're using a 20 amp voltage reducer because we're only powering this light bar with it, but you could also use a 30 amp reducer for powering multiple accessories. The wiring harness for the light bar came with easy to follow wiring instructions and assorted spade connectors and butt splice connectors to help get the toggle switch connected and to bridge the gap between the power from the voltage reducer and the leads on the light bar itself. Once that was all set, we connected the yellow line from the voltage reducer to the positive terminal of the key switch so that the light is only actively drawing power while the key is in and the toggle switch is turned on. Proper colors of wiring to use are all indicated in the full color instructions. Last, we connected the main power leads from the voltage reducer to the first positive and last negative battery terminals and tested out our brand new light bar. We're very pleased with the quality, the solid build on the housing, and the mounting brackets that tighten with interlocking teeth instead of just using tension to help keep your desired angle more steady and dependable. Now that we've got our installation complete, it's time to take it outside and see what we can use it to light up. If you need help with parts, questions, diagnosis, or anything else for your cart, 
just stop by golfcartgarage.com or give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. And while you're here, give us a like and subscribe for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCG TV.